Hello everyone, I wanted to take a moment and show you the way that Rainmaker is going to do your belt promotions and make it very simple. So if I go to the student menu and go to belt promotions, the first thing that I'm going to do is update the next test date. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. What we're going to do is, is we're going to put a date in here of testing and let's say that I want to do my next testing on the 13th. So 1-13-2012. Okay, and now what I want to do is is that I want to select some students in here to actually test on that date. I can do it a couple of ways. I can, you know, go down manually and look for the name, and then I could click update. All right, so I just updated that person, so they were approved for that test. I can do another one, CJ. I'm going to approve him. Logan, I'm going to approve him. So I can do it that way. Or what I could do is, if I know their ID, their Rainmaker ID, like this one right here, Hannah, um, I could type their ID or scan their attendance card in. And then I can click Update. Or I can search by names. Check this out. I'm going to type in the Smith family. You see how fast that is? Both of these guys are testing, so I'm going to Update, Update. And then I'm going to take this down. And then the Cell family, etc. I think you get the idea. Or what about this? What if I wanted to say, you know what? I want all the yellow belts. You see how I spelled it wrong? You see how fast that these come up. And so I say, yep, Justin is testing. So I'm going to update him. And Angelina is testing. And Frankie is testing. And Malcolm's testing. So I just approved all of these guys. So now if I look at Justin uh, Andriacchio here, let's just go and, and search for Justin. And I see Justin is right here. Click him. Uh, you can see that his next exam, I'm sorry, where is it at here? It's uh, next test is going to be on 1-13-2012. So he was updated appropriately. So now that I've selected the people that I want to test and understand that you don't have to pre-select them, then I'm going to go to uh, students, belt promotions, and I'm going to add and edit a belt promotion. Now there's three steps involved. You select the date of the testing. Then you select the students, and then you order the belts. So I've already put in the 13th, so let's go ahead and select this. I can also, down here, add a new promotion on a different date. But since I've already done that, I'm just going to select my existing one. Well, why would I do that? Well, maybe I, I put some students in first, and then I come back later and add some more. So this is a real live test that I have at my school this week. And so I wanted to show you that some people have already been promoted. I've already ordered their belts. It says right here, promoting, and you'll see this one says no. Lauren Anderson, well, what I'll do is I'll click yes, and now she's promoting. Okay, so that's how you do that. This one right here, Davian, he is promoting. It says yes. So mass, I can mass upgrade, update all these people and promote them just like that. I just promoted three people, so I could do that very fast. Let's take these off. I just unpromoted them, demoted them. You also notice that Fran is a first degree black belt and she's going to go to her second degree. It automatically pulls her info in. It knows that she's a size three and it knows what her next belt is. Now, these are my belts, but your belts could be different. That's in setup, right? Okay. You can also filter very fast. I can type in someone's number and you see Joe comes up. I can scan someone's attendance card. If I do that, the same thing happens. I can type in someone's name and they come up. So there's a lot of different ways that you can sort through this list very fast and so that you can, so that you can uh, mass update everyone that you need. I can also filter by belt. If I type in orange, all my orange belts come up and it's very fast. Rainmaker is built for speed. You can see, as soon as I start typing the letter, it starts working. So now that I have some folks selected, now I'm going to order belts. So I'm going to click the order belt button. I'm going to select the batch that I want to, and the batches are automatically calculated. You don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to hit go. And what's happening right now is, is Rainmaker is tallying up all of the belts so that all we have to do is copy and paste the order into an email and we're done. So it says that I have 10 size zero yellow belts and I have seven zero gold belts and six ones. So I didn't have to manually do that. Rainmaker does it for me. 
If I go to the very end, it even tallies it up. And sure enough, 112 people this Saturday will be testing for their belt. The next box I can copy and paste. If I need to order certificates, then I can grab and send this. If I print my own certificates, I can download this CSV file, which basically is a mail merge file that I could do with Microsoft Word. So I just downloaded that. Now it's opening it up. We're waiting for it to open, and there we go. So and here's all of the information I need to mail merge and maybe make my own certificates. So that's as easy as doing uh, belt promotions with Rainmaker. Very straightforward, very easy to do. The best thing is, is that there's not going to be any mistakes. It's all electronic, which means that uh, we can make sure that the belts that come in for belt testing are the ones that we really need to hand out. So I hope you enjoy how Rainmaker does belt promotion.